Hi. I had a situation with my Thetford fridge. This is an N175 fitted to a Aldis Superstorm 2010. It is now August 2014 and went away for the weekend. And the fridge was on mains. If I just show you. Let's turn it on now. That's on battery, gas, electric. Situation we had is notice that the light was flashing blue and the spanner came on. As you can see, fault code 1. works on gas works on gas and obviously 12 volts now on the forums there's plenty of uh, written stuff that uh, states that it could be the mains heating element quite common fault on these which means replacing the heating element which is like a rod that um, fits at the back of the fridge but there's not many videos there's only one video on YouTube I saw and that was to do with an RV in America the man pulled it out but they're all basically work the same all fridges with this heating element there's two normally there's a 12 volt one a mains heating element and the gas obviously uses the heat from the gas to make the fridge work so I thought I'd make a, um, a video of how I'm going to fix this. A word of warning, you do have to disconnect the gas and the electrics to remove the fridge. So unless you're uh, capable of doing this or confident in doing this, I would recommend you take it to a caravan supplier to do it. But if you're confident, it's pretty straightforward. I am a qualified mechanical engineer that work with high pressure fuel systems. So I know how to check for leaks, which I'll show you how I check for leaks. Very simple but I'm not going to be held responsible for anybody else uh, setting fire to the caravan or things happening. This is just to show you how to change the heating element. Right, first of all you've got to turn the mains electric off the caravan, turn the gas off, it's on, and this is the access panel outside and underneath you'll see some clips Oops, that you push now mine's broken on this side so I've had to put some blue tack up there I'm going to pull this out there you go and that's clipped on the bottom so you have to push it down it's down like that and off right there if you look this is the back of the fridge this is a bit of uh, sponge that I use to soak up this reservoir here so when it defrosts automatically defrosts and fills this container full of water so occasionally I open the back and soak it up and sponge it out I'll just leave that there this is the main chimney gas lights up in there throws heat up there this is the electrics I'm going to have to disconnect the mains this is the gas fitting I'm going to have to disconnect and then that allows the fridge to 
move that way. Just out of interest, here is a thermal switch which I had to put on because fridge and that are that efficient so when it's really warm I've installed a fan in the top of the vent connected to this thermal switch so when it gets warm it turns the fan off, draws air through the bottom and up makes the fridge more efficient so what I'm going to do now I'm going to disconnect the gas fitting and disconnect the electrics tape up the 12 volts that so that uh, isolates that move to the front of the fridge unscrew the screws and then slide the fridge out I do believe the thermo uh, sorry the heating elements will be up up halfway up that chimney so you got to dis disconnect the chimney which I'm going to have to find out how you do that right I've disconnected the gas now here and screw the uh, nut there which is basically a, uh, the screws for the cover they are Torx which are these star shaped screws so you need a Torx bit on the end to get them off these, this I had to use um, some pointed nose pliers to get the main ones off because they're a bit tight. Just pull them off, just be a bit careful. I'm going to put the cover back on in case it rains. Get around to the front right, of the camera. Here we are, round, back around the front of the fridge. Just open the doors and you'll find. On the side they got these like uh, covers. So all you do is just pull them out like so. Let me just see if I can see in there screws, just a posi drive screw drive uh, screw. Just need to select the right size posi drive and just to unscrew the screws. There's uh, one two, three, that's one, two, three either side, take them six screws out and hopefully the fridge will pull forward. It's quite heavy so I'm uh, getting my son to assist me, assist me. I've got a uh, theory, I'm just going to get the caravan step, place it there, make sure everybody's aware the caravan steps in the caravan so they don't go and step outside the caravan forgetting that the caravan step's not there. Then just extract this and sit it on the caravan step. Unless I'm finding somewhere else to sit it on. But I'll uh, sort that out when I come to it. Right then, fridge is nearly ready to come out. Unscrewed the six screws, pulled it forward slightly. Used uh, got a, that's a recycling container that we, we use upside down, got it on some plastic dustbin bags because uh, it's been raining here when I turned it upside down got it in water, there you go so that's how I'm going to put it on there, hopefully it'll slide it further back, I'll have to uh, see when it comes out so the idea is you've got to access the back of the fridge